In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will show you how to perform maintenance on the FRAT NX 90 degree transfer module. We will guide you through the replacement of the components that are in direct contact with the products being conveyed and are therefore most exposed to wear. The drive transmission belts, the motor-driven roller that powers the roller transfer, and the wheel cartridges used for 90 degree diverting. Maintenance is best performed with the FRAT NX removed from the conveyor and placed on a secure, flat surface. To ensure the continuity of your operations and to reduce downtime, we recommend that you keep a spare FRAT NX module ready for express replacement on the line. Let's start by removing the cover plate on the transmission belt side of the module. Remove the two screws Then remove the cover plate. On the opposite side we will dismount the rollers. Start by cutting the cable ties holding the cable to the frame and take care not to damage the cable. Then unscrew the nut holding the motorised roller in place and remove the mounting plate. Using a screwdriver, compress the spring-loaded shafts to dislodge the free rollers. Note that you only need to remove the free rollers that are adjacent to the part that you want to replace, whether that be the MDR or a wheel cartridge. Completely remove the free rollers from the frame. Now we can remove the damaged wheel cartridge. First, remove the four screws holding the cartridge to the frame. Now let's put the new cartridge in position. Make sure that you are using the correct reference and check that it matches the part you are replacing. Secure the new wheel cartridge to the frame and torque the bolts to 11 Newton meters. We will now replace the motor driven roller. Remove the mounting hardware from the cable before removing the roller. Make sure the reference of the new roller matches the reference of the roller you are replacing. It should start with PM486FE-60. Pass the cable through the hole in the frame. Place a transmission belt on the pulley end of the roller. Place the roller into position. Insert the mounting plate and check that the corner teeth are facing towards the frame.
Then tighten the mounting nut to 30 newton meters using a torque wrench. Secure the cable back to the frame using new cable ties. When fastening the cable tie on the bottom part of the frame, make sure that the cable is loose enough to allow the lifting movement. Use the grooves as a reference to be sure you place the free rollers in the right positions. Large diameter rollers go into the deeper grooves. Insert the new belts on the rollers following the right order and positioning. Push the rollers back into place. Guide the belts into position by pushing them while rotating the rollers. Install the cover plate and bolts. Your FRAT NX transfer module is now ready for operation. The spare parts presented in this tutorial can be ordered directly from Ito Denki with short notice. However, to avoid downtime on your conveyor lines, we recommend preparing a spare FRAT and a set of spare parts in advance.